Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Bateman here once again and well. I want to talk about the well, a good idea for what a Hollywood movie should do or a TV show should do for if it's a part of a certain franchise. You see, it's a nice one if you have to do a, for example, a movie based on a franchise, well, like a car cartoon, you have to look at the first three episodes, actually the first maybe four or five episodes of the franchise to get uh, the concept of a mo the movie, and then go on for what, onto your franchise, to the movie. If, for example, the Transformers first movie, sure, I like that concept, uh, seeing a, a live action movie of one of my favorite cartoons when I was growing up, but halfway, to, an hour into the movie, we finally got the motherfucking Transformers, that's right. An hour of just humans uh, who are fucking bland, and then we then we got finally like, like I said, if an hour we got the Transformers, which I think is to help some of the characters got deserved the the upgrade, some not so much, yeah, and if you don't believe me, look at watch the original Transformers from Generation One. And watch the live action movie with Transformers. You see, the I can see Bumblebee getting an upgrade because back in the day, Bumblebee was trans the Transformers Resident Evil Whipping Boy for the first two seasons of Transformers for the Autobots. Yeah, he was always get got captured with his human buddy Spike and his then girlfriend, then who had turned into his wife. And also, Soundwave, he got some an upgrade, who, who appeared in parts 2 and 3, respectively, which both forms were different in his appearances. The first movie appearance by Soundwave, he was satellite dish, which I think was, actually, he was, he was Soundwave was a, a satellite, which I was thought was pretty awesome, mind you. And in his second appearance, he was a freaking car, which boggled my brain, and also they were on the prime. He got tweaked just a little bit, still semi truck, but a different style than the animated one series from Generation One. And Soundway, I mean, I mean Jazz, kind of got tweaked just a little bit, but he he still has that style around him. And the other two all that we got introduced in the first movie, Ironhide and Ratchet, they were fan style vehicles back in the day, but when they got revamped in Transformers, but by Michael Bay, they got turned into a, a pickup truck and a Hummer, respectively, mind you. And it's not go over, over the time. If you watch the, the Transformers very carefully in the first movie. There's some references to the original series, mind you, like Bumblebee's original form, which is a Volkswagen Beetle when we finally get introduced but to Bumblebee, and Optimus Prime's original Force in Generation 1 has appeared in uh, the, four, the four Transformer movies, and also the original voice of Soundwave, and Megatron got his voice for season episode part four, which I thought was awesome and said part one, first three parts, mind you. And hell, GI, and it goes for GI Joe they, they, as well. And they, the first movie, they had so many flaws and. Some of the characters are a couple, or are supposed to be couples, and they have to, their backstories that are wrong. Like, Corporate Commander is the Baroness's brother. The Baroness and Duke are a couple. Ripcord and Scarlet are a couple. And Sergeant Stone, 
a character I never heard of is a drill instructor instead of Sergeant Slaughter. And the Joes were an international team in Wild Part 2. Believe it or not, they were just an American team. Which, uh, that kind of fucks up the continuality of the franchise. And help Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I respect the, the different takes on the franchise over the years. But you have to look at the original franchise to just get the story right. And and one of so I seen of the from the last decade, not the one from Nickelodeon, I meant the original one from two thousand four to two thousand seven when we ha got all some snippets of Casey Jones's backstory. He actually met. The, the how he met the turtles in that story was all reference to the first live action movie, which I see as a nice tribute right there. And also, some of the characters we've seen in these different versions of trans of of the characters sure they have don't have the same thing as the original story, but and the story and characters. But you have to think, pay attention to the original series to actually get the fans happy. And heck, and believe it or not, they always had to do a little running joke for the people who voice act or direct the cartoons for that, for that series. And heck, in an episode of Beast Wars Transformers, one character made a little running joke for I made a joke about one of the original Transformer characters because it was his relative, and the person who voiced that character back in the day is now a voice director for Trans most animated series. And also, I'm, there's some there are some moves out there that are rated R back in the day, and they actually get cartoons. And I don't know why in the hell they made Robocop the cartoon, Rambo the cartoon, the Toxic Avenger Guard cartoon. Sally, both, all three of those cartoons lasted about maybe less than 20 episodes, mind you. And also Swamp Thing got a cartoon that lasted about maybe four or five episodes. And believe it or not, back in the day, so they made the Swamp Thing comic book movie, uh, the first one, a horror film, and then the sequel, a bloody comedy, which I thought was completely other BS, mind you. And also, uh, I, I thought I caught some some movies I seen were actually based on had a, a spin-off TV series that lasted. Maybe a couple of episode, a couple of episodes to a couple of seasons, and one had eleven seasons and two spin-offs, and one potential sequel, actually spin-off that actually did not then get not picked up, and it was Mash, and also some of the, and all of those antics you see on in Mash were actually based on a book before the, there was the movie, the series, the spin-off, and it's also going, going for the movies that and that are and the series that's based on literature. You have to pay use it as the use the book as a guideline and don't change where the characters are during the storyline and heck I caught a few snafus on in the stand which was turned the miniseries and one in the book the judge was what, what character A well in the movie in the miniseries the judge was with character B which I thought was complaining about BS and also in the miniseries the villain dies but in the book he's still alive so, to all the people out there who are planning to become screenwriters, 
you you see the first few episodes of a franchise as a as a basis for your movie or you see movie I mean the book of a friend of a well known writer or or an, a movie a book that you that no one her has heard of and made it into a big movie so people can buy the book. So this is Malibu Sean Bateman signing off.